Hello, this is Dr. Moses here. I'm going to help out you out with this question. If you need further assistance, you can schedule an appointment with me on Wisent. So what is the percent of iron in iron 2 hydroxide? Round your answer to three sig figs. So iron 2 hydroxide is written like this. Why? Because we know that iron 2 has a valency or charge of, I mean, has a charge of two plus, and then hydroxide has a charge of negative. So if you drop these numbers, you'll find that, the, this is negative one, you'll find that the one comes here, OH is a polyatomic anion, the two comes below it. This can be written as such. Now, because we are talking about uh, the percent, what we can do is to find the mass, so if you know the total mass of this formula, you just simply divide the mass of ion over the total mass times 100. So each ion, the period, uh, each mole of an ion has a mass of 55.847 in the periodic table. Oxygen has a mass of roughly 16. Hydrogen has a mass of one. But you see, we have one ion. So I'm gonna say one times 55.847. 847, we have one ion in the formula, there is. We have two oxygens and we have two hydrogens. So I'm multiplying two times 15.994 and then two times one, because each hydrogen has a mass of one. Then we'll sum them up. So let's do that multiplication and then add them. So 55.8. 847. Your periodic table could have a slightly different number, but uh, just know the percent will be very, very, very similar. Okay, so we are adding that to twice the mass of oxygen. Okay, and then we add two, which is two times one. We have two hydrogens. So I'm getting a mass of, the total is coming to 89.835. That is the mass of the ferric hydroxide, ion 2 hydroxide. So one mole of ion 2 hydroxide will weigh roughly that much. So in fact, we call it grams per mole. One mole weighs that much. Okay. Now, once we know that, we can come back here and do some calculations, let's see. So we'll say percent of ion must be equal to the mass of ion divided by the formula mass of ferric hydroxide and then the answer you get, you multiply by 100. Obviously, we got a, like, if, if you're considering one mole of iron 2 hydroxide, it's going to have in it 55.847. That's the contribution of iron in the total mass. And then, of course, the molar mass is 89.835 of the entire ion 2 hydroxide. You know, it's per mole per mole that will cancel out. So we multiply by 100. In fact, these two also will cancel out. So that should give you the percent mass. So we're going to say 55.847 divided by our answer equals 2 and we multiply by 100 equals 2. I'm getting my answer to be 62.166 percent. The questions one sit in three significant figures, so roughly there, so I'm going to say 62.2 percent. Now, make sure you use the periodic table that is in your book, because these masses, I got them straight from a periodic table online. Your masses will be slightly different, but that's the, that's the concept, okay? I hope that helped you out.